Why are there so many different kinds of cat? The subfamily Thelinae has more than 40 species. Wouldn't one or several do? One of the things that speciation, the splitting of lineages to produce multiple species, allows is adaptive radiation. So instead of one or a few generalist cats, there is now the possibility of having a larger number of species which are more specifically adapted to specific parts of the world or specific lifestyles or specific types of prey. So for example, if one were to consider a map of the world, there are cats which are only found in Asia or Southeast Asia or the island of Borneo. There are cats which are only found in Africa. There are cats which are only found in Europe and in North America or South America. And so clearly speciation has allowed cats to adapt to different parts of the world. If one were to consider the skulls given here, clearly cats have adapted to different types of prey, whether this be in the subfamily Felinae with the puma, lynx, uh, bobcat, and domestic cat given here. This would also be true in other groups of cats, such as the panthers given here, the jaguar and the tiger, or these cats which include the saber-toothed cat. The size of the canines, the space between the canines, the size of the jaw muscles, all of these can help adapt the cat to a specific type of prey. When one considers the variations in coat color, clearly this could help with adaptations in camouflage to different habitats. There is a cat, uh, the sand cat, which only exists in deserts, while others exist in the plateaus of Central Asia or in rainforests. Some are more likely to be found in trees. A few are more likely to swim. A few have webbing between their toes, allowing them to better catch fish. Some are more likely to be active during the day, others at night. And so, speciation has produced great variety in the cat species, which has allowed them to adapt to different parts of the world and different types of prey.